Hi, I'm Mark Davies. In this video, we'll be discussing how you can use links to external resources from EnglishCorpora.org to see a wide range of information about words and phrases. Keep in mind that pretty much everything you see in this video is unique to EnglishCorpora.org. No other Corpus website has these links to external resources. To give a concrete example, suppose that you're looking for noun train, which yields strings like freight train, commuter train, and wagon train, as well as perhaps less expected strings that have a more metaphorical meaning, like gravy train or soul train. By default, when you click on a word or phrase in the results page, you'll see the concordance view, which shows the word or phrase in context. But it's also possible to see a wide range of resources for any of these words or phrases. To see these external resources, Click on the type of resource that you want to see, and then click on the word or phrase. For example, the following are some links for wagon train, which referred to a group of covered wagons that pioneers used 150 to 200 years ago. First, we can do a web search from Google or an image search from Google Images. Or a video from Youglish, and this includes a pronunciation of the word. A day in a typical wagon train usually started early. They're at 4 a.m. rivals would be fired to wake everyone up, and then the long, arduous process of yoking the oxen would begin. Or Google Books. Or related phrases from PowerThesaurus.com. You might find these external resources useful for cases where the word or phrase has a metaphorical meaning, such as with gravy train. Let's take a look at the results from a web search or from videos. you know, was kind of the gravy train. We didn't say no to a whole lot of things. This session, we have to learn to say no. This might also be useful when a word or phrase refers to a particular book or movie or TV show, as with the entry Soul Train. Let's take a look at a web search and an image search. and a video search. Once American Bandstand and Soul Train were over, you had to go outside and play, right? Note that in countries where Google is not accessible, alternate websites will be used for web searches, image searches, and Google Books. You can also see translations of individual words and phrases, or you can see a translation of all of the words and phrases on a page. For example, this is the translation for the single phrase commuter train. First, make sure that you've selected translate and then click on the desired entry. Notice that in Google Translate, you can select different languages, such as, in this case, Spanish or Chinese 
or German. And as mentioned, you can also see a translation of all of the words and phrases on a page. To do this, just click on Entire Page. And then again, once you're at this page, you can choose other languages if you'd like. Or you can change the language in the corpus itself. And then it will set this as the default language for other searches and even for when you come back to the corpus in the future. To do that, just click on the link for the language. And now when I click, for example, to see the entire page, it's already set to Arabic. And when I come back tomorrow or the next day, it would still be set at Arabic unless I choose another language. You can also see external resources from the context page. So for example, I'll click on this entry from the list of phrases and here's the context page. By default, when you click on an entry in the context view, you'll see a page with about 200 words of context. But you can also access external resources for a given line of text. For example, you can hear the line pronounced Closed, locking her out. Thoughts screamed through her head like a bullet train derailing. Memories of the accident rose up. She saw her father's face. Or you can see a translation of the line. And again, you can see this in different languages. It's also possible to get the translation for multiple lines rather than just one line. To do this, click on Translate, select the lines that you want, select the language, and then click on Translate. And of course, if I want to change this to another language, I can do that. Finally, it's possible to get the translation for the expanded context page. For example, we can click to see up to 200 words of context, and then we can choose whatever language we would like. I'll change this to German, and we get a translation of the entire selection. You can also click on any other word in the context line to get information on any of those words. For example, click here to see the different words in the line, and then we could click on accident, and we could see the home page for that word in COCA or iWeb. Or we could, in turn, see a wide range of external resources for that word, such as entries from external dictionaries, or translation, or web search, or image search, or video search. One of the problems that learners have sometimes had with Corpora in the past is that they're overwhelmed by all of the other words that they don't recognize on a keyword and context line. But with all of the helpful tools at EnglishCorpora.org, that should no longer be much of a problem. 
And more generally, some people, and I definitely fall into this camp, learn words and phrases better when they can see them or hear them. It only makes sense to take advantage of the wide range of external resources that are available and which are linked to from EnglishCorpora.org.